Hey guys, welcome back to Crisp Sister Trio. Okay, so today is good news for me at least. I'm still in my robe slash pajamas because that's how early it is. So I'm going to a horse show, but not any horse show. It is an overnighter, so I'm going to be sleeping in a hotel. How crazy is that? Okay, so I have to go get ready. I have to keep my voice down because my sisters are still sleeping. They're not leaving with me, sadly. I will miss them dearly. But they just can't come because when they're allergic to horses and they just don't do well in the cold. Okay, so enough talking and I'm going to go get ready for the morning and I'll show you my outfit and I'll show you how to pack the car i guess um it's gonna be a bit of a shorter intro i know this is a bit of a different intro it's look how rainy it is outside it is not a good day at all to do a horse show but i am super happy that they could fit me in at least i'm super happy the horse show that i'm going to is called greer and i love greer because they have perfect horses um I may not video the second day only because the second day is literally just like the first but we're not sleeping over I'm coming so today is Saturday but I'm gonna post it on Monday so <clears throat> for you guys um, yesterday Sunday is when I came home but in the afternoon I'll show you guys on camera a bit after I get ready and stuff so let's go start our morning Okay guys, so this is the bag that we will be packing. This is my mom's suitcase, but we only need one suitcase, so that is just perfect for us. Okay, so now I gotta get changed and get out of these pajamas of mine because I can't show in them. Okay, so let's go get dressed and uh, see you guys after. Okay, so my backpack is packed. Tongue twister right there. I'm all ready, as you can see. Um, I have to go put on my shoes that I'm going to be wearing. But instead, um, I have my show jacket. Um, I'm also going to... I'm just going to carry that. Uh, so then it doesn't make it wrinkled. Because, you know, I don't want it wrinkled. And then I have my uh, sweatshirt because it's gonna be a brutal out there so i'm all ready to go um i took out my well i don't need my saddle or my saddle pad or half pad so we're good right there um i just need a helmet boots and stuff like that okay let's go in the car it is literally so foggy out here that i can barely see over to the neighbor's yard and that's crazy. So I'm loading the car right now. I'm going to set you guys right here. Um, <laughs> a bit, tad bit weird taking a camera to a horse show. But that, that's fine. That's fine. It's supposed to be horse girl vibes. So I have to go and get my shoes that I am going to wear. Like, actually wear for the show. Sorry, guys, I'm having trouble over here. So, um, I'm gonna go put those on. I feel like I should put my shoes on. I can't really. I'll be right back. I'm trying to figure out situations here. Okay, so I got it all organized. It definitely took some time, but we're all right. We're all right. So what I did is I put my show jacket in there because I always tend to forget it. And then we have to come back to the car. And then I put my High Feather Farm jacket in there too. Because if I want to leave my sweatshirt in here, then I have a coat. Because this leaves fuzzies on my nice white shirt or blouse, I should call it. Okay, now we are ready to leave. <laughs> See you guys later.
Okay guys, so I am in the car waiting for my mom. We had to go get gas and my tongue is blue because we had to stop and obviously get some snacks. Uh, Gatorade because we're at a horror show and I power down very quickly and we had to get some candy. Yeah. But other than that, we are fine. It's we went off road to go to Sheets, actually. So now we're eight minutes away. So weird, am I right? But yeah, so we stopped to get gas and use the bathroom because it's an hour and 30 minutes away from our house, which is why we are um, staying at a hotel. So yeah, we are doing perfectly fine in here. Um, I've been just on my phone, you know, um, the whole time. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to pop in here and say, it was like like a little like, hey, we're still alive type thing. Um, after the hour and 30 minutes, actually it's an hour and 50 minutes, I'm pretty sure. Because we have to go off road and then get on a highway and then turn back around. I think. But yeah, so that's how it's gonna go. Um, I will try and pop up a picture of Greer and what it looks like because I'm not able to really video much there because there's just too many people and I don't wanna like run into anyone. So, um, yeah, but we're perfectly fine. I've been saying the same things over and over. So, are we ready to go? and this beautiful horse that I'm riding is named is Tommy. And posting trot, please, riders. Posting trot. Alrighty, so now we are trotting. And so this direction, he was very good. I got him to move forward very nicely. He was a bit lazy, so I had to leg him up every time I sat down.
want you to stand here. So the following numbers, please come into the center of the range. 165, 163, and 498. Please come to the center, please. All canter. Alrighty, now it is time to canter. So right here he started to lean in, so I let him and turned him away from the other horses, and we just circled, and we picked up the correct lead. Later on, we're going to pick up the wrong lead right in front of the judge, which is why I got sixth, but that's fine. <laughs> Okay, so now Tommy can walk a bit. And reverse and continue as a walk. Reverse and continue as a walk. And what we do on one side, we have to do to the other. So now we're going to trot this way and canter this way. And let's go right to the canter, please, riders. I'll canter. Okay, this is where things went a little bit wrong. I picked up the wrong lead right in front of the judge, and I didn't fix it until I got to the in gate, which is why I dropped all the way down to sixth. I probably would have gotten higher, but I didn't fix it until, again, the in gate. Then when I tried to fix it, they said to trot. And posting trot, please, riders, posting trot. Okay, so now it is time to trot. This is when I was going to fix my lead, but then they said to trot, and when I realized that I was on the wrong lead, but it was way too late. And walk, please, right back down to the walk. Okay, guys, so now my class is over, and now I'm heading to the hotel. <laughs> Hey guys, so I told you that I would give you a room tour, so here it is. So when you right come through the door, the bathroom, the nice blue carpet, we have um, everything full of my show stuff, and my jacket, so there's like a little hook right here, and then this closet, which it can shut it, but we're just letting everything air out right now beds uh i'm getting ready to go to bed um and then nice view out into the parking lots which we can like see into other people's rooms and stuff like look at that i can see in there but yeah and i love this feature so let's go this nice little desk area like i love it like i could be working right here and watching tv how crazy is that and there's a little lamp right here also i was taking forever to find how to work this lamp it's right here like at home i have this little like switch thing up at the top like near the light bulb anyways now i'm gonna go to bed Okay, guys, so I had a fantastic day at the show and everything. I'm all showered up and all ready to go to bed. So in that factor, good night, friends. Good morning, guys. Okay, so now I just got to get dressed. We're going down to the show at like 10, 10 30-ish. And now I have to go eat breakfast. Okay, so now this is day two of the show. Enjoy. Okay, so I draw out an awesome horse named Ruby, and my mom forgot to record the first half, so we are starting off with the trot, but I promise we did walk first. So right here, I am the horse in the corner right now, and I'm stuck on the rail. So here soon, you will see me try and circle. It may just be a little donut, but I had to try and get out of there because Ruby likes her own space and I did not want to be stuck in there. And let's walk, please, Ryder. I'll walk. Okay, so Ruby stopped very nicely and now it is time to give her legs a nice break. And let's canter, please, Ryder. I'll canter. 
Okay, so now it is time to canter. Ruby did very nicely when I asked. We actually got the right lead this time, and I promise I was looking for them. One thing about Ruby is even though she is a pony, she has bigger strides for the walk, trot, and canter than a horse. And walk, please, riders. Back down to the walk. We ended on a very nice canter and walk, and that was the end of my class. Okay, guys, so you may or may not know, but I got sixth for my first day or show, and then I got first for my second day slash show. And as you can see, the blue ribbon um, is much longer than the other ribbons that I potentially have behind me. But Ruby was super fun after all, and she made it look super easy. She made it feel super easy. At the canter, I just sat down, um, and when I felt like she was going to break, I just legged her up. Not super much because I didn't want her to go flying around the ring, but also enough to keep her going and not stop. But these are my two ribbons, and that was my show. Hope you guys enjoyed. But anyways guys, that is it for today. See you guys later. Bye-bye.